The hunt for the meteorite began early on Mother's Day. Oh, look, 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 meteor. Oh, no shit. Wow. A blazing fireball kicking off a race to find an interstellar specimen. We decided to take a little spotter plane out on Saturday morning. Uh, flew out from Jandicott Airport here in Perth and um, went for, for a scout around. And I was really, really excited but nervous and I didn't want to get my hopes up that we were going to spot anything. It turns out finding a tennis ball sized meteorite in the outback is easier than finding a needle in a haystack. And we saw someone actually walking out in the middle of one of these really big salt lakes. I'm like, oh my goodness, there's actually someone out searching. The meteorite picked up by an unlikely amateur astronomer, the local police sergeant. Meteorite sort of hunting's a hobby, so one of the sort of many hobbies. The hunter thrilled with his find. The dead giveaway was obviously the, the impact it made in the, in the ground, um, which pretty much is only going to be a meteorite. The Mother's Day meteorite is now expected to go on public display at the State Museum. It's only been there for seven days. Um, compared to thousands of years, then yeah, it makes it a bit more special. Scientists confident there are more celestial pieces to find. The salt itself actually can damage the meteorite. Uh, so we will still be going out and spotting some of those splashes while we're out there, but we'll also be looking for, for fragments that may have not quite made it into the salt lake. The small fragments are a key to protecting our planet. If we can actually match that to possibly a parent body or a family of asteroids, it can really help us understand the next time something hits, is this going to be a problem? Proof that looking in the right place at the right time can help to protect our planet. Andrew Chounding, ABC News.